Welcome to this graphic tracer training video. Uh, this is Steve and I would like to in this video show you how you can take advantage of a lot of the free clip art that's available on uh, the internet uh, to use in your different projects. There's a wealth of different materials out there and here what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up uh, let's say I wanted to, to get some clip art of a dog. I did a search for free dog clip art on Google and went to Google Images and we're going to start with something simple. Let's say like this little dog in the middle here. I'm going to click on this and here you can see free to use public domain free dog cartoon clip art. Very easy. All we need to do is come over here and we're going to uh, right click on that uh, dog and we're going to copy that image. And now we're going to come to our graphic tracer program and we're merely going to paste that from the clipboard into our desktop. And here we have our, our dog here. Now notice we have a little eyedropper tool there. We also have an automatic button here which is going to, uh, when I click on that, it's going to detect the colors. It only detected two of those colors, uh, probably because of the type of an image this is. But I'm going to use that little eyedropper and I'm going to pick up the brown and that tail and the red and the tongue and the gray and the nose. And I think that's all of the colors that we've got there. We're going to process that image and I'm going to come over and we're going to create vectors and now you can see we have just turned that image into a vector graphic. We can take a look at that in its uh, wireframe and you can see how nice and clean that is. Uh, you, we can take that right into production. We can view that uh, the bitmap underneath and you can see just how it traced against the original bitmap. So I'm going to come over here to save where we can export this as an EPS, an AI, DXF, or PLT. Or if you're using CorelDRAW or Illustrator, I've got, I'm using CorelDRAW 7. I have one click. I can transfer directly into CorelDRAW or Illustrator. So when I bring up my CorelDRAW, you can see there's that the log right there in my CorelDRAW window. So we're going to take that and we'll just resize him over here because I want to use him in a little different project. And, and let's come back to our Google Images and we'll take a dog that's a little more complex. So let's see as we scroll down here, um, how about this bulldog here? I'm going to take that bulldog, we'll click on that. Again, this is a free cartoon dog clip art. So we're going to come over here, we'll do the same thing. I'm just going to come over here and right click and we are going to copy this image. And now I'll come back to my graphic tracer where we are going to uh, load an image. We're going to do a new image and we'll paste that bulldog right into the image there. We're going to do automatic. Excuse me. We'll click on that. And you can see we've got some of the colors here. I see a few colors that we don't have though. I'm going to zoom in here. I want to get that blue in his eyes. So I'm going to use my little eyedropper tool and we'll pick that color up. And now about this little flesh tone in his nose. And let's see, we've got another blue in his collar down here. And we'll process that image. Now, as you can see, we've lost a little bit of detail there in that blue or we want to pick up some more color. So I'm going to select that blue and we can increase the intensity of that blue. And we'll reprocess that and see how we can pick up some more of that blue that way. You can do, you can control individual colors. Now I'm starting to pick up some blue up in here, so that's a little too much. So I'm going to back that down until I take that blue out and we'll back off. And I think that looks good. So we'll come up here and we'll create vectors. And we will view that uh, in its fill. And there is my vector image of the bulldog. I'm going to come over here and we're going to just, uh, if you want to see that in the wireframe, let me do this real quick. You can see it's traced very nicely. You can see it's not, uh, not an abundance of control points or nodes. If I wanted to cut that on a plotter, it would cut just fine. And so we're going to come over here. We're going to save this. We'll export this in our Corel Draw. Again, we could we could export this as an EPS, AI, DXF, or PLT, or an SVG. Excuse me, we do have an SVG export as well. Uh, that was something that was recently added. I click transfer, and that should pop right into my Corel window. And there he is. And you can see here, very nice graphic. So it's very easy to take graphics uh, off of the internet. Uh, you can create them very easy, export them, and use them in your various projects. Thank you for watching this video and uh, 
Uh, if you'd like more information, go to www.graphictracer.com. Thank you.